Hi, I'm Zach from Boards and Chords. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to this video. Today what we're going to do is show you my board setups. Not one, but about three. This is my Santa Cruz board. I like this board for really doing about anything. Hill bombing, street skating. I haven't done any bowl skating or park skating with it yet, but I want to one day. It's a Santa Cruz board. Parish Truck Company, trucks, uh, freeboard wheels, freeboard bearings, and just some random hardware I found around the house. The toe stopper I have on here is just a plain bearing, nothing really special, but uh, the only reason it's a bearing is because I don't have long hardware for it. The next board I have here is an Amazon board I bought a while ago, but it's actually, um, it was bought by my sister for my nephew, so I could teach him how to longboard, but he's not very interested in it. So I, uh, I decided that I'll take this. The Volodon, Volodan, Vol Vola something board, uh, with, uh, the same wheels, uh, Volida uh, Volador, Volador, I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm not really sure, it's just a cheap Amazon board, uh, Volador board I think it was made for dancing and cruising. It has the tail on the front and the back. They are the same width. I don't know anything about like the specs about this board or anything. It is a drop through board. It's uh, I think that's how most dancing boards are. I, I got this from him so that way I could learn some longboard dancing uh, to showcase onto this channel. But uh, yeah. But this is my first ever board. It's a Never Summer Colorado uh, longboard uh, with independent trucks. Uh, it doesn't have wheels on it right now because I took the wheels off to make something that you're going to see in another video very shortly. Um, this was my first ever board. I put a Zoomy sticker on here because uh, I wasn't thinking. And my uh, friend Bree made this sticker down here. And that's a very, it's a very nice sticker. I took the outline of the sticker and put it on right next to it. I thought that'd be fun. I wrote some of my favorite lyrics down over in the white over here. Uh, bass drum of death, now I'm face down in my mind. I think that was, uh, those were the lyrics. The song is crawling out for you. Um, I, I plan on putting wheels on this very shortly again. I, I like to use this to bomb hills because uh, it doesn't get wobbles as much as the other board, the Santa Cruz board. This is old reliable. This was my first ever board that I ever got. My brother bought it for me like a long time ago. This was the board I learned on. This is how I learned to cruise. This is how I learned to bomb. This is how I learned to uh, slide. This board was the beginning of everything. This was just the board and it's super light. It was a, a, a just a really nice board. Uh, the only reason I switched it out for that shark board is because uh, the board has a tail on the shark board. Uh, this doesn't have a tail. It is a drop through board. Um, so, yeah, the, this is, this board brings back just like memories uh, after memories, you know, I, I've never actually, uh, fallen off this board because of speed wobbles. In fact, uh, I hit about 50, 60 miles an hour on this board, um, and, and it kept me supported and it worked and it was just, it was super nice and it, it really is a nice board and I'm trying to get wheels back onto it. That way I can start riding it again. But I guess we're done talking about this board. I don't have any uh, normal skateboards right now because I don't have grip tape. But a while back I saw these things called two-wheel boards. Uh, I'll put a picture in right now. So we'll link them in the, the description below so that way you guys can go check out some of their uh, two-wheel board stuff. But, um... I really wanted to get a two-wheel board, but it was way too expensive for me to afford. So what I did is I went to my grandpa and I said, Hey, Grandpa, can you actually make me one of these? We made a homemade two-wheel board. Um, it, it's just some simple wheels. Uh, some like I don't even know what these things are. They, I had to screw them in uh, into the board. It was just a normal deck. And my grandpa did all this, and he, it was it was such it was so nice just to be able to have one. We had a, a prototype with bigger wheels 
and that was such a fun thing to uh, for not only him to make but for me to ride is something that my grandpa made for me you know um, I've dropped in on this before but it didn't go very well I go don't die <laughs> But that was a long time ago. I haven't ridden this thing since. If you really want to see some video with this, uh, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's been a while since I've released a video. I will be releasing a short edit soon. I don't know when though. All I know is it's going to be soon. I haven't decided if I want it to be a downhill video like most downhill videos or if I want it to be like my other videos which are more like skate videos with longboards. I'm I don't know what to do yet, and I don't know uh, how to get the film for it yet. I'm still trying to figure out what's good film, what's original, what can I do as a longboarder to progress and to make these videos to progress. Uh, I know this video has been flip-flopping around. I don't know what's up with that. I've been working with it best I can, but I don't have control over it. I mean, I don't know how to move the thing. It just does it on its own every time I cut a clip. So I apologize for that, but thank you so much for watching the video. Go check out my friend Riley Lee Vlogs. Go check out my band, SoundCloud, uh, YouTube, and Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff at Lucky by Choice. Uh, go check that out. It would support us a lot. We're trying to get music out there into the world. Um, again, if you want to see any video with uh, the two-wheel board or any of, of those boards, just let me know. Um, and I guess I'll see you next time. Bye.